I know the human being and fish can coexist peacefully. Hello and welcome to the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast. Here at Spoilt Milk, we discuss, dissect, and destroy movies, especially guilty pleasures. Then we decide if it's truly spoilt milk or if it's ascended into a fine, luxurious cheese. So without further ado, let's go. Warning, this podcast is full of spoilers for the title feature and there's bad language from the start. If you've never seen the film or you're offended by bad language, you have been warned. Hello and welcome to the Spoiled Milk Movie Podcast. My name is Chris Hammond and as always, I'm joined by the hobo and Catty. How are you, Catty? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm grand. You're better than the hobo. Uh, obviously. How are you, hobo? Oh, I get asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gaslighting you. I mean, it's out of politeness. <laughs> Is that the right way of using that? No, no. no. I, I would say if I said um, I was not feeling very well because you made me feel bad, you'd go, no, I didn't. I didn't oh, make right, you okay. feel bad. You're making that up. And then I'd go, gaslight. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you do? You yeah. shout it at yeah. them after. You have to shout it and then mm. burn them with light from like an aerosol can that you've set on fire. Did you ever used to go and get five lighters for a pound from the market yeah. and do that thing where you turn it up and then like move the thing back and turn it up again and move it back and turn it up and no, so it was not like a psychopath. A mega flame. Yeah, mega flame. Mm. And, and then, then it would spit bits out that were cold and you're but like, ooh. You would you'd do it to someone else's light and they'd put it down maybe and go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah. And then you you do that and you would tell them. So they would go to smoke and then they'd burn my yeah. eyebrows. <laughs> you're the only smoker. How haven't you done mega flame? Yeah. With a gaslighter. Because I'm not a psychopath. Right, okay then. <laughs> I did grow up around a bunch of chavs, so... Mm, and I grew up in Doncaster. So. <laughs> yeah, I, I grew up in not only... I thought you grew up in Ponty. It's right next to Ponty. Uh, right, it's okay, perfectly then. good. No. Oh. no. No. <laughs> it's worse than Ponty. <laughs> Right, to all I, our Nottingley <laughs> listeners. <laughs> I grew up on the roughest council estate. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Was it like sort of less a football out for two minutes it'd be gone it's worse than shameless oh jesus is that why you don't like enunciate <laughs> <laughs> not only like that not only not how, not how would you pronounce the name of the film the famous spielberg film with a shark jaws jaws <laughs> just someone at work today was like jaws jaws, <laughs> jaws. <laughs> jaws. it's jaws oh, no, no. That's schindler's list <laughs> oh. Sorry. Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Top three in films. Top three in films. We will discuss our top three in films. Who are the all time greats? Who are the upcoming noobs? What are the greatest scenes? Who's got the silkiest pubes? Top three in films. Top three in films. We will discuss our top three in films. Well, anyway, we are going to be talking about Deep Blue Sea from 1999. But before we do, we've got to delve into our top threes, which this week is our top three. It started out that it was going to be our top three most famous people in a film who die first. Mm. Yeah. But I understand yours don't die first. No. They just die. Yeah. So it's just the most famous person in a film who dies. I mean, yeah. I had an example of someone who died first, but it's like the most famous, so I wasn't going to use it yeah, anyway. Okay. It's a uh, psycho. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So mm. that's that's like the standard of act, most famous actors dying first. Mm. So yeah, my, my other one is just... So Katty, did you want to go first? Did you say you only had one? Yeah. What is it? Zombieland. Oh, oh yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> but technically, don't need... Are we talking Bill, Bill Murray? Murray. He dies first, though, doesn't he? Out of like the cast. No, the one that there's all... the main cast. No, because it's not the first person that dies in the film, though, and that's what I took no. that as. Yeah, and Ruddy Howson is. I mean, he's not who no, Ruddy. Ruddy, <laughs> Ruddy, bloody. <laughs> yeah, but he dies later. Uh, Bill Murray dies first. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> But it's weird because he's not introduced at the beginning, is it? He kind of comes in and then dies. But technically, out of like the named cast, apart from Amber Heard, she's in it and dies first. 
Is she? Yeah. yeah she, she's, but she, it was before she was famous. When has she not yeah. been forgettable in a role? <laughs> <laughs> Tumbleweed. <laughs> So why did you pick Zombieland? Is it just because... It's, it's fucking Bill Murray. Yeah. <laughs> I love his... Uh, how he gets roles. Have you heard about no, it? No. He has a voicemail number. He doesn't have an agent anymore. He just has a voicemail number. Oh, you might have people, told me Yeah, this. people leave him voicemails for roles they want. They can't get in touch with him directly. I was reading a different interview... Uh, very recently about someone he had appeared on a film and they managed to get in touch with him outside of it because they really needed him for this thing mm. and luckily they'd worked with him before so they had a different contact mm. but generally he doesn't have an agent you just call a particular number like an 0800 number leave him a voicemail message and he'll he may eventually get round so he's literally who you're gonna call yeah. like, <laughs> like Bill Murray yeah well, that's pretty cool yeah. I like the fact that he doesn't kind of conform but if he hasn't got an agent, that agent can't filter through like loads of shit. Like if an independent mm. company phones him up and's like, right, I've got this role, mm. really want you to play it. If he picks up that voicemail, he's more likely to play that than if it went mm. through an agent and the agent mm. filters it out. Mm. In fact, that's the the person the director was talking about. His fact, most recent film is Jim John. Yeah, the mm. dead don't die. He'd already worked with him before, so he knew. Blue flowers, but, wasn't um, it? Obviously, he only had this number initially, mm. um, and but he managed to get hold of him a different way, but. What if he loses his number? What if he can't get a pack code or whatever <laughs> and can't move his number over to a new... I maybe it's that's a, his career. Maybe it's a landline. I'm pretty uh, sure it's a landline. Uh, it's very right. number. I don't think he would have gone to the effort of doing a redirect from a landline to a... I hope it's a landline in like in an empty house on Isle of Wight or something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to physically go annoying. to it. <laughs> All right, so you've gone for Zombieland. How does he die in that? I know he, get, he gets shot, doesn't he? Does he pretend to guys. be a zombie yeah. or yeah. something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and is he coming back for Zombieland too? I think he is. I think it was, yeah, that's a rumour. A film I'm not excited about at all. Yeah. About Bill and Ted 3? Mm, oh, yes. Don't know. Depends what they do with it. It's fucking Keanu Reeves. He can do no wrong. Apparently, the, the synopsis mm. is... They were meant to save the world with them, that song that happened at the end mm. of Bogus Journey. And they just didn't do it. And yeah, they, they just haven't written it or whatever. That is, yeah, so that could Which be Which is good. a great premise for you mm. were meant to be saviors of the world, but you just kind of just drank beer. And... Hell yeah. But I don't know yeah. how much they can still be like, <laughs> at like 50? Are they like 50? Of course they can. Mm. Keanu maybe, but Alex Winter. They're, they're probably going to play into a long time ago. Yeah, I hope so. And I hope it's kind of a bit cheeky, a bit like knowing, but not over the top knowing. So it could be good. It's got potential. My only problem is you don't have uh, Rufus. Uh... Oh, yeah, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah, yeah George Carlin. That's it. What about like his dad and stuff? Is he George back? Carlin's dad? I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Ted Theodore Logan's yeah. dad, who when they possess him, he does the guitar <laughs> thing and it's like, ding, 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 yeah. and plays classical, classical guitar. <laughs> Uh, yeah, right. I'd like them to bring him back. He was always good. Mm, he was. And what about Missy? Anyway, <laughs> we could go through the whole cast. So, Hobo, do you want to go next? You uh, said, did yeah. you only have two? Or? Yeah, so uh, I had two, and I think I'm going to go for um, probably Tom Hanks in Saving Private Ryan. Oh, right. Okay, then. Yeah, I forgot it wasn't first. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so he's the lead, and then... He snuffs it at the end. Why did you pick that one then, out of Just because it's Tom Hanks, and you just <laughs> you think he's not gonna die. Does Tom Hanks die in anything else? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. Or, does it, or does he live? <laughs> he I dies can't remember. It's a long time ago. His soul dies in Terminal. <laughs> <laughs> what does he die of in Philadelphia? I'm only kidding. Um, <laughs> but anything else? Uh, he usually yeah. makes it out, doesn't he? Yeah. I wrote to perdition. He dies. At the end, he gets uh, shot. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> I, w- I wish he died in Forrest Gump. What? Are you on the I hate Forrest Gump? I fucking hate I'm it. Like Wait, did you prefer Jenny to live? Jenny. I, I just want him old. I just didn't want that film to be made. Oh, mm. What about the kid who plays little Forrest Gump? Oh, Hayley fucking... Jasmine. Is it Hayley yeah. Jasmine? Yeah. Mm. Oh, mm. Jesus. But yeah, that's fine. Well, it's just because it's Tom Hanks and he dies. Yeah, and I mean, good film. Great film. Mm. As I've well. never, yeah, never seen it. Have you not? <gasps> mm. oh. I don't know with, with Saving Private Ryan because my wife hasn't seen it. And I was like, I don't know if by now so many other things have kind of ripped it off 
that, that like still... it, it might not have the same that kind opening, of the opening yeah. war scene is amazing but i remember watching like smallville once and them doing like a rip-off version of that and i was like oh everyone's copying what's done saving a Ryan. slow knife in the heart death before oh my god like that, that. that's a brutal death hey, this film even me. makes you care about vin diesel it makes mm. vin diesel a, a, a human character over vin just... diesel is a human character yeah you know yeah, uh, pitch black. He's all yeah. right in that. Mm. No, he's good, but I wouldn't say his character is humanized in it. He's superhuman in pitch mm. black. He's got feelings. No, he just he uh, saves that. He saves that kid. I polish my eyeballs. Oh. What's that kid called? Worm or something? I don't know. <laughs> it is something ridiculous. Is mm. I love pitch black, but yeah, I like that, the first that one. character doesn't have much. What about Everything Chronicles of Riddick? Oh, good. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I haven't seen that in a long time either. Uh, so you're going for Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, I had two as choice? well. Uh, one was like super obvious. Yeah, I'm just going to go for that one because it, it Scream. The whole... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the mm, Drew Barrymore yeah, at the yeah. beginning. Because I know Psycho, you were saying, is obvious. But when I saw Scream, I was probably... 15, 14, and I'd never seen Psycho at that point. So for me, that was like, whoa, what, what, what's just happened? Mm. Like, I was fully invested in that, expected her to be the lead character. Saw it as soon as it came out on video as well, so I, I hadn't heard anything. And was like, what? What the fuck? And I was like, you can't kill off Drew Barrymore <laughs> after like five minutes. She's like Hollywood sweetheart or whatever. And she's and duh, at duh. Yeah, and then she was d- d- <laughs> well, not in real life. No. Um, but yeah, I was like, what the fuck? And that completely threw me. And that was one of, the, I think that was kind of the time where I started taking film a bit more seriously and being like, oh, you can do something different. You don't have to do what every other film has yeah. done. Mm. And then that kind of unfortunately meant every other film after that did something similar, don't they? Like kill off Sarah Michelle Geller in the second one, or yeah, mm. yeah. The first one was good. It was that was obviously an homage to Psycho, mm. like that, but also just a good send up of horror movies in in a way that doesn't happen too often. Mm. Um, yeah, it was a game changer. Yeah, mm. I'd like to watch it again if you'd be up for doing it. And sometime, yeah. mm. I don't know. I've not watched it in years. No, I am. Maybe it's worth a, a revisit. See what oh, what's that dude called Jamie Kennedy? Well, <laughs> we could do a lead up to ha- where we did the, like thirty recommendations mm. or something. We'll, let's just do like within that month, what we'll get like two or three movies out of the lead up to Halloween. Yeah, we know what uh, we're gonna do for the mate the final, which is it. And then we're oh, it's oh chapter yeah. two. We're yeah. Do, we, so we're gonna mm. watch it and do that as a podcast, and then watch chapter two and do a. Brief. Midnight release. But we already done it as a podcast. We've oh, done we did the, the 1990s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was our first ever one, wasn't yeah. it? Well, our first one. Oh. So if we do it, <laughs> chapter two, also like a our first reactions as a mm. short audio clip after we've watched mm. it, I think that'll be really good. Yeah. Well, all that planning aside. Listen to the planning podcast. I'm going to go for Scream. The other one I thought about was Alien with like the dude who plays uh, Dallas and they kind of set it up in the first one like he's the captain of the ship and he's oh, like yeah, he's the, the, the more well-known leader. actor yeah, and the leader of the group and then it becomes Ripley. The but leader no, I'm of gonna the go, gang. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go for Scream with Drew Barrymore. Catty, remind us nice. of what yours was? Zombieland with Bill Murray. And Hobo. I forgot. <laughs> What? Saving Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. It's Saving Private Ryan. I forgot. Your guys' suggestions were so much better than mine. <laughs> oh, thank you. Like, Cheers. Yeah. Not like, no, it wasn't. No, no, no. no those are solid. <laughs> Damn you. Right, okay, well, we'll be back shortly to talk about Deepest Blues. My head is like shark's fin. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Get back to the pod. Hello and welcome back to part one of this Deep Blue Sea episode of the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast. Carty or Carty. Carty. <laughs> the hobo decided that Carty was too hipster for the name Carty. <laughs> so put H in the middle. Yeah. And uh, turned the Y into an I. Oh, yeah. I removed a T. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> K-A-H-T-I. I like it. No. Well, Carty, what's this film about? Fucking sharks. 
So we've got like a um, station in the middle of the sea. Mm. And in that station, they're doing like some scientific research about um, seeing if we can cure Alzheimer's by genetically modifying sharks. Mm. What the fuck could go wrong there? <laughs> <laughs> and as a side effect, the sharks got smarter. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my favourite lines from film. <laughs> they got smarter. <laughs> uh, I like to consider it a shark prison. It is like a, mm. a shark Alcatraz. Mm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But or sharks. <laughs> the best thing about it is the keeping different breeds of shark together. It's like that would not happen. Yeah. But like, do they, or are this, the other sharks just for feeding them? Because they, they no, say that it, they start, aren't they all Makos? No, because there's, a, there's like a general. great white and there's like a tiger, isn't there? Yeah. I don't think they are oh. great whites. I think, wait, I think they're all <laughs> Makos and the tiger is the one that they set free and it feeds them because he says something oh, like about they feed they, a they tiger rip, shark oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they'll okay. only eat sharks now so i think they're all mako sharks but if you actually google what a mako shark looks like it looks nothing like these so i don't know what happened there but they've designed them to look like great white sharks what? yeah but oh, they're called makos and they're like these little small ones don't know if it's to oh, so they've made a, a naturally <laughs> a small super shark. shark a small yeah so that i don't know if it's to kind of say look how big they've become like we've increased their mass along with their brain size um but yeah i remember thinking why have, why are they mako sharks why aren't they just great whites they look like fucking great whites i read somewhere that apparently the director made the largest shark one foot longer than what the length of jaws is uh, meant to be. Really? <laughs> just because he wanted to one up spielberg uh, yeah and he did that everyone always says Renny Harlan <laughs> is the new Spielberg. I love that you knew his name off. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've got it written down, but I mm. do not know his name off. Yeah, Renny. Yeah, because he makes a load of shit, basically, in the 90s. Well, what? He made um, Fast, he's made Fast and Furious movies, mm, and I think that's yeah. all I've got. <laughs> I thought he made some other things as well, uh, some other tosh. Um, oh, he's, he's making the Sonic movie. Of course he is. There is oh. a load of tosh, but the only thing that stood out to me was the Fast and Furious from Tokyo Drift onwards. He's he's the guy on. He's mm. been the guy in charge. No, because was it? Well, the last one was wasn't that. that um, oh no, that's a DOP. Sorry. Uh, oh, yeah, so yeah. is he just a DOP now? Oh no, this the director did. Just, uh, no, the director did uh, Die Hard Two. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, has he done something with Bruce Willis? Yeah, Die Hard Two. Um, do you know what, actually, when we all, when we were watching this, I, was, I watched it alone. Um, I'm sorry, I am trying to prove what sharks are, and it is a Mako shark, but there's a fandom page about Deep Blue Sea. Right. I'm just reading the, the first couple of lines, it's like, Big Shark, Deep Blue Sea Wiki, Species, Mutated Mako Shark, Gender Female, Hair, None. <laughs> 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 We've genetically mutated a shark. It now has hair. <laughs> We've given it pubes. <laughs> do, do you know what? Though, like watching this back, I was like, I was quite happy with the setup of this film. I thought, like, okay, we we're trying to cure Alzheimer's. We've made the sharks' brains bigger. <laughs> which has accidentally made them smarter. We give them mullet. <laughs> yeah, uh, we give them pubes. And when we Merkin. But then when they put them in that like aquatica place or whatever, and I was like, and the team go home for the weekend, I was like, that's quite a good little setup for getting like a few people in a place where potentially it could go wrong with sharks. It's, it's mm. very Michael Bay with sharks. Yeah. Mm. Everything is. But it's just how low effort everything is the fact that it starts with oh teenagers drinking uh, on a boot having mm. sex and, oh. <laughs> and why what was the significance of the bottle of wine in the water oh, was it trying to say the shots red. yeah it was just that was it it was just attracted to red <laughs> <laughs> just a fancy as fuck <laughs> wine connoisseur yeah. sharks give me that wine <laughs> well I, I could have swore some sharks looked like they were just in a, a jetty in a little uh, <laughs> boat area and then they had one shot of them out of the ocean and that was meant to sell it but yeah. a lot of the sharks looked like they were just docked like 
<laughs> a dock shark. <laughs> they probably were. <laughs> yeah, but a shark would have come right up to the shore. That's mm-hmm. you're meant to be out in the ocean for them to get you. So it was just a bit. I mean, yeah. Jaws came in. Don't most shark attacks actually occur within like ten feet of dry land? Do they say? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure. Oh, so, so what, about, shark facts. what about the film Open Water? Is it open? Yeah, that's open. that's not, that's not all sharks. That's just some shark. But why is all sharks Jaws sharks? <laughs> that makes sense. Well, how, how, how do you think surfers get attacked? Yeah, it's usually near the uh, the beach. I thought they stuck by because that's where the, all the little seals are. But there's a whole thing about how um, what was it? <laughs> water zoos. Water zoo? <laughs> water zoo. <Aquarium? laughs> water zoo. <laughs> um, aquariums, they can't get sharks in because they need so much space and so much uh, mm. like area that they just die. They'll get mm. them in and they'll, they'll die within days of being in an aquarium. Yeah, but it don't mean that sharks can't come close to... Yeah, yeah, I, just meant, fuck off again. I didn't think it meant they couldn't. I just thought it meant they... Very rarely did, which is why mm. surfers don't get bitten every day. I think they just come in to hunt and uh, then fuck off. Okay, I'm mm. learning something. Some snacks. Mm. Something yeah. I didn't learn from Deep Blue Sea. No, yeah. <laughs> you know what? The, uh, the big sharks though, that they made were pretty impressive. I, I watched a making of, and they had a full, like, giant shark that they could put in water that would swim as well. They had, like, little remotes. It wasn't getting dragged along. And I was like, that's pretty cool. And yeah. it looked... The practical practical effects side of things still stood up. I was like, they look quite decent. Well, if you imagine it, if you're a practical effects company and we're going, can you make a shark? Oh, what? Sorry. Through water. <laughs> practical. <laughs> pra- Hope it's drunk. <laughs> practical <laughs> effects. <laughs> um, and they're like, can you make a shark through water? Mm. And you go, nah. <laughs> you just go, uh, there was Jaws about... Like mm. 20 years ago, 20, 30 years ago, mm. you kind of slacken a little bit. I'd like it if it were a scuba diver in a in a shark <laughs> costume. <laughs> he's just been more aggressive. I can see your head, Mike. It's coming would out he, of the mouth. Would he control the jaw by going, or would he do that? It'd would he be use his own mouth? pubes <laughs> and poke them through? Yeah, a little shark wedge. <laughs> Do sharks, would you say a shark's widge is bigger than a man's? I don't know. I don't, I've never Do they seen... have them? Well, obviously they have them. They've yeah. got to have them. Yeah, well, they must have them. Yeah, like... Because sharks give birth, don't they? They don't like lay a shark yeah, egg. Yeah, they don't do the yeah, they Oh, oh do some sharks lay a shark egg? Is it like some fish how, who, like the, the women lay the eggs and then the guy just comes and squirts along and leaves like there's no, there's no <laughs> penetration there's just squirted blood no, <laughs> some sharks have like inside babies <laughs> like they actually give birth uh, okay mm. Mm. and you said inside baby I felt horrified and then I realised that's how old that's human how babies are born who has a baby inside them <laughs> oh humans <laughs> um, so we've got a cast in this it's not just sharks <laughs> Um, we've talked about the teenagers at the beginning, but we've, we're introduced quickly to, uh, I just said it a minute ago, what was her name? The main... Susan. Susan. <laughs> Janice. Fucking Dr. Susan. Um, and she meets with Samuel L. Jackson, who's been in the Alps for some fucking reason. Are you that guy? <laughs> yeah. Like, how many people had to be like, are you that guy from the Alps? And it, it really doesn't pay off later, does it? Um, no. And then they bring him, so... There's been the escape shark that's made it into the news isn't yeah. there, at the beginning. So they're like, right, we're going to send Samuel Jackson in and he's going to check it out. It's like the um, Jeff Goldblum of Jurassic Park. Yeah, he yeah. is, yeah. Mm. Um, Ex- except he's not a scientist. He's just a man of money with a cricket jump but on. But Jeff Goldblum weren't a scientist. He, he were was a mathematician. Oh, a mathematician, yeah, that's it. Sorry. What were you going to say? Uh, and you've got uh, Jay, what's his face? Punisher guy. Oh, Thomas Jane. Yeah. Thomas Jane. We've got who, Thomas Jane, who's Carter. Carter, who saved the team. You like from your dying. job, Carter. Oh, it, um, he's the shark wrangler, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, the shark yeah. wrangler. Mm. He's the widgy stroker. What was the point in that bit of. <laughs> the, the pube coma. <laughs> <laughs> that bit of dialogue. So, what does a shark wrangler do? 
As the name suggests. Yeah. <laughs> Angle sharks. Oh, and then we get fucking Jan. Jan is the absolute pits. <laughs> Jan, the woman who's like the blonde woman. Oh, who yeah. Who they give all the exposition to, who's the shittest actor out of all of them. And we're like, we're going to basically, you're going to set up the story by telling Samuel L. Jackson, woman explaining to him yeah. about what, this is a really cool facility. And then she's like, there's the weekend team. They're going home. Bye, weekend team. And like, oh, there's so-and-so. He's a shark wrangler. Oh, there's so-and-so, the smartest guy. I think the, even the writers or the directors of this film thought, if you give people more lines, it makes you care like about them. them more. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, they're talking a lot. I care about them. Mm. Not mm. let's give them personality traits because that's not needed. Nah, who needs a personality when you're a scientist? <laughs> so then at that point, we kind of... Like, shit starts kicking off. We mm. get the scene with... Uh, you, I absolutely love this whole sequence within the where they do the uh, lightning in a bottle. I'll stop doing impressions of that. <laughs> no, where they do uh, extract some of the brain matter from the shark and they put it to sleep. Yeah. That whole scene I really liked from like start to finish sequence. That was... Is there a fucking stroking shark like it's free willy? Mm. Like, oh, come on, it's, it's fine. Yeah, it's a shark, right? Calm that down. was the, TJ, the latest Jane. attempt at any sort of pseudoscience I've ever heard. You're yeah. looking for lightning in a bottle. <laughs> and then they're saying that you... They it's can, literally lightning. Like, they are saying that they can see synapses. Like, that's what that's meant to be. Mm. But on that level... the. the yeah, but come on, it's a shark's getting smarter film. I'm like, <laughs> for, for for like setting up the plot, it it did oh, what it needed. And for to setting do. up the plot, the fact that uh, the, there's like one line before where they say, "Oh, we can't genetically modify sharks." That would be against the, the Harvard code. The Harvard uh, code, yeah. <laughs> like it's this well-known code. As, as, I live my life by the Harvard code. <laughs> Catty, how do you feel about the Harvard code? Fuck it. <laughs> I've made Catty scientifically dumber. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she can only say two words. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I was looking for lightning in a bottle. <laughs> the, the Is that why you've shrunk me? And <laughs> <laughs> why well, is... your pubes are out. <laughs> <laughs> All the time, no matter what I wear, they just seep it's, through. The- it's a catty suit with a midget inside. <laughs> I would like to know what people's impression of catty is from that description. <laughs> You've been shrunk, but your pubes are still there. <laughs> um, like one of them little wolfman things. <laughs> I was thinking like one of those troll dogs, but the, the hair is out. <laughs> <laughs> No one said how long they were. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he shrinks all but the pubes are still big. Nobody said that either. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I like where you go with that. Yeah. Well, off Cutty's pubes. <laughs> so they've got that. Um, we get the sequence. They put the shark to sleep. And Thingy decides he's going to have a little celebratory. Siggy, don't he? Re- um, what's his name? From Avengers. Oh, uh, Stellan Sc- Scars. Yeah, the genius he's like, oh, pisses off the. Yeah, so he lights up a cig, and I don't know if that's <laughs> supposed to be that. That's woken the shark up. The sharks something. are just really against smoking, yeah. <laughs> and it rips his arm off. Mm. And I love the bit where you just see that he's got his arm stuffed down his trousers. Did you notice that? <laughs> no. It's really clear. You can see like a bulge where his hand is in his trousers. Maybe he's just, just got a massive around. cock. He probably has. You know, he's got a full on. He just had it on for, that... for the sharks. <laughs> he just had it on for that blonde lady. That's why. He yeah, for Jan. Were they supposed to be a couple? I think yeah. they were. Yeah, he was banging Jan. Apparently they cut out. Banging stuff. Jan. <laughs> <laughs> but in a, a longer version of the film, they, they, it was very clear. They oh, did they cut out movie. shark sex? Did Jan dress up as a shark? <laughs> <laughs> it definitely didn't need to be longer, this film. I'm happy they cut that down. Um, Why did they keep in the random <coughs> kissing of those two, mm, which just God seemed knows. a bit out of nowhere? What the shark? <laughs> shark. That kissing. wasn't a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> it started it's with it's just kissing them all. <laughs> Every member got a quick little kiss. And then they went home <laughs> Aren't they with the weekend team. But then that bit goes into that really crazy bit where he gets attacked. They oh, put the mask on him and they're getting airlifted. The, yeah. And then I don't know if it's because of rain, but 
the harness breaks and shit sends him down. Mm. But I like that bit where he's like, tell me what that is. And it's a shark kind of carrying oh, him. Because yeah. I'm like, he's still alive at that point. And he's like blinking because he's got an air mask. And then just gets fired into the glass. And basically that's it for him until his body pops up later. Yeah. So he just slowly probably drowns in there. Yeah. It or bleeds out. Yeah, or bleeds out. It yeah. wasn't Ooh. even like that That yeah. breaking glass would have killed him. From what you mm. saw, from what he's already still blinking through, at that point as well. It's just, yeah. Mm. So I'm like, in terms of like film deaths, his is quite gruesome. It Arm was- bit off by a shark, dragged underwater by a shark, thrown into a glass window <laughs> by, a by a shark and then probably either bleeds out or drowns mm. by himself. Still as Skarsgård. I mean, mm. it'll be with the three sharks. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> At least he saw Jam before he died. He probably had a little boner. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so shall we call it for part one there and we'll come back and talk about LL Cool J and, and his parrot. All that. And his parrot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a break from the podcast. This isn't fake, it is real. Grab a biscuit, mm, a Kit Kat, or Toffee B, maybe a samosa. Hello and welcome back to part two of this Deep Blue Sea episode of the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast. At this point, we left last time where the facility had just been... A- Cat attacked by sharks. They invaded by sharks. You see, attacked, they dragged that helicopter in... There's an explosion. Yeah, they um, destroyed the top side of the city mm, with a helicopter. Yeah. That's Die Hard 4 level badass. If only Renny Harlan could die, <laughs> direct a Die Hard film. Um, <laughs> with sharks. Yeah, with sharks. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we now have all our main characters in an underwater Alcatraz, if you will. It's sinking and they need to get out. Mm. So who else have we got in the cast? We've got Blood Lady. Yep, Jan, we've got, we've got Jan. Evil ginger scientist lady. Susan. <laughs> <laughs> we've got... Uh, Carter. Carter. Yeah. Samuel Jackson. What's yeah. Samuel Jackson's character? Samuel Jackson. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Do you know what? He, there was a bit in the making of where it was like, I read the script and thought, I've never played a millionaire before. <laughs> and I was like, oh, good. Great. That's, that's what you, you pick in your roles on. Well, I heard that he was meant to play... Uh, the LL Cool J role for sure. Oh, yeah, right, okay. Um, Preacher. Preacher. His his agents or whatever did publish this, didn't want to play the chef because at that point, why would you play a chef? Mm -hmm. So, Reddy Arley wrote this John Claude Van Damme did. Did he? When? Is it it under Siege where he plays a chef? No, that's... That's, uh, Yeah. Holy tail. It's, yeah. Oh, that's Another him. person who died same off difference. early in the film. <laughs> in... John Claude Van Damme is not the same difference as... Steven Seagal. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Much of a muchness, isn't it? What? They're both uh, not very good actors who do a bit of kung fu. Who has done the splits between two movies? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true, yeah. Steven, Steven Seagal mm. tried. Yeah, mm. he probably would die. They've both a... got ponytails at one point. But Steven Seagal still has a ponytail and is overweight and is a dickhead. Jean-Claude Van Damme's got a ponytail in the cars adverts. True. Yeah, no, no, true. it's a mullet, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, a bit of a mullet, yeah. Mm. Did it not pull back into a ponytail? No, no. Yeah, There's a few of those adverts, so they might in some. Anyway. <laughs> so he yeah, wrote sorry. the role for <laughs> Sam L. Jackson. Yeah, yeah, so uh, you're now a millionaire and, mm. yeah. So they're all separated up. Oh, we forgot and, about um, te- the technician guy who knows how the place is oh, built. Scoggins. Scoggins. Oh, what that's what's his name. face. Michael Rappaport. Yeah. I like yeah. Michael Rappaport. I like him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's not the best actor. Every film he's in, he plays the same. Have you watched he just plays... Atypical on Netflix? No. He's a, he's a dad in that, and it's uh, mm. pretty, pretty is it good. good. Yeah, it's about a kid who's got uh, some form of autism or not autism. Something else. I shouldn't be confusing, but hmm. yeah, and he's just a, a sh- kind of dad who kind of walked out and then came back, and he's he gets shit a for bad it all dad. The time. Yeah, but, but no, is he good? He's it? a good dad, but he kind of did a very shitty thing. It's one of those. Did he go out for cigarettes? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and he's he's really good at that, oh, but he's still the same Michael kind Rapp, of cat. Yeah, mm. <laughs> so I guess he was in like True Romance and everything else that he was in I just love his mannerisms mm, yeah he's so like so New York mm. um, and he's supposed to be like the smartest guy there or whatever and I'm like alright oh, okay you gonna trust me 
aren't you? You gotta trust me. He's always saying that. I'm like, why? You know, in the Sam Raimi Spider Man, where the New Yorkers took the stone at Green Goblin, they go, yeah. you mess with us, you mess with New York. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that. he's yeah. the guy who took, <laughs> yeah. took the first stone. So, yeah, they're all separated up, and we get this kind of picked off horror film. They're, they're gonna start killing people. Look what um, they've got in. Who goes first after after uh, Stellan? Is it not Sam Jackson? Is it? Is it? Yeah. So is it, is it big I speech. think it is. Yeah. So yeah. we've got the big speech that's pretty much exactly bang on an hour into the film. It was something like one hour and twelve seconds when he snuffs it. Because I thought, I wonder if he's gonna kill him bang that on was the hour. A great moment, <laughs> yeah. regardless of what you mm. think of this film. That is a. Just like what you said about me, what is that? And it's coming mm. towards you, mm. uh, and you just. It's you like don't expect it. No. Yeah. I saw this in the cinema when it came out and I think I was expecting Jaws. And like when that happened, I remember just like laughing my head off and being like, this is fucking shit. Like, <laughs> this really? is the, yeah. And being like, this is the absolute worst film ever. Cause I want a Jaws and I was getting deep blue sea. <laughs> um, and at that point I was like, yeah, Samuel Jackson, he's great. And then they killed him. And I was like, fuck this. How did you not realise you were getting shit up and everything about it tells you you're getting cheese, cheesy shit? Because I was shit. like 15 or whatever. I had no real taste. I just wanted to see people getting killed and Samuel L. Jackson saying motherfucker or something. I mean, do um, you not get that? I don't think he swears, does he, in this? I'm sure he says motherfucker. Or is he starting to and that's when the shark comes and gets him? Maybe. He, yeah. He's like, first off, we're going to close this pit. I think that's it. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's the irony. He's like, first off, we're going to close yeah. off this. And it's not I like because... your impression of him. Yeah. It's not because there's a shock. That's the best mm. thing. It's not he's saying to close it off because there's a shock that's going to mm. get him. It's just because of the water pressure. It's like, we're going to close this. Just... But this is what I didn't get. They were like, I don't want to jump in there and swim up because yeah. there's loads of sharks. And he was like, you think water moves fast. You should see ice. It moves like it's got a, a mind of their own. And it's like, no, they're not that bothered about water. Yeah, they're really. bothered about, like, <laughs> throw a fucking couple of killer sharks in the ice, and I'm sure that would have been a lot worse. Like, he's talking about, like, you ice should see shots. ice. Yeah. Screw toilet shark NATO. I want to see yeah, ice, ice sharks with shark Samuel Jackson. Avalanche. Like avalanche sharks. Yeah, yeah avalanche sharks. <gasps> javalanche. <laughs> what? Jaws and avalanche? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was thinking of yes. javelins. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, an that, avalanche of javelins. That'd be even worse. Yeah, it would. Sharks and javelins. <laughs> <laughs> sharks throwing javelins in an avalanche. <laughs> So Samuel L. Jackson dies, and we don't just see him like get dragged down. You see him get like munched up as well. Yeah, like, like they all have a bit. Yeah, because sharks do eat like that, don't they? They bite and then throw the reds around because they, mm. they they can't like like chomp like um. Mm. Yeah, they don't chew, do they? It's just mm, they just down. bite it and then. I think, I think any death you saw with a shark like biting, they hung around to show you how sharks kill, mm. like you said. Mm. I wish there were more air jaws in it though. Mm. When when a shark jumps out the water oh, okay. and like catches a, the prey out the that, water, that's it's that, called air jaws. Oh, we didn't get awesome. any of that, did we? No. no. I wonder if they just didn't have like the CGI for it. Or... Why doesn't someone make a pair of shoes called air jaws? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like air jaws. Like, <laughs> like air jaws. Yeah. I'd wear those. <laughs> but, um, so Samuel Jackson's gone. It next is Jan. So fuck, thank, fuck, fuck for that. Is she the one who falls off that ladder? Yeah, I like that bit as well, where she's like, help me, help me, and Carter's trying to grab her, and then she just goes down for a second and comes back up. And it's in, in the shark's mouth. Yeah, and there's like blood everywhere. I loved it, it but I thought it would have played better if she didn't go even down for a second. She's mm. just there, and then she suddenly rises up, and you think, yeah, oh, no, she's oh, making yeah. it, and then you suddenly realise there's a shark that's pushing That would have been better. You should have made this film. <laughs> You're the new Rennie Harlan slash Steven Spielberg. I think the only way I could make a film is watching someone make it badly and then improve it. <laughs> and it. And then, all right, I need that same budget again, but this is all the things I'm going to fix. So you could be a producer then. Yeah. yeah there you go. <laughs> mm. So Jan dies. We're all grateful, right? Did anyone yeah. actually like Jan? No. I like the casting, even like Jan. No. And then it's LL Cool J scene, isn't it? And oh, it's yeah, just set piece after set about piece. LL Cool J. Mm. Yeah, we've set him up. He's, he's a bit early. of a nothingy character, though. Isn't he's he? not he's a, bit a of a stereotype character. He is. He's, he's a... just the guy who makes the food who says, 
as if there isn't enough ways for black guys to die and then going yeah. up a stupid mountain and he makes the black guy joke and then kind of just makes some food at the start of it. What I mean is he's not, and he's not much to it. Very him. religious. Everything oh, yeah. is about God. It's called, it's called preacher. Yeah. But that was the thing. It, it, he felt like a bunch of character tropes in like wrapped up. So he's got, he's the one who's got the bird. He's the one who is a chef. He's the Do one who people have birds. Oh no, I don't mean. I, don't, <laughs> I just mean like it was like they were like we don't have a character for this person, so we're just gonna give him a bird, give him religion, give him like his chef, and he was just like mm, everything about me is my job, my relationship with my pet, and my alcoholism or whatever. <laughs> but then halfway through, he gets a bit more to do, and actually ends up being like but the lead. Tell me, I which. love. LL Cool J's character. I mean, I love LL Cool J. Tell He's me which great. of these people actually had a character as their own. Who was a unique yeah, character? True. Do you know the the first the Doctor Lady? Like, at least she had like the the parent who died or whatever, and she had a bit of a motive for her for first violating life the Harvard Code. It's <laughs> the most dead inside delivery. Yeah. Oh, she's it. fucking like one. Her very Saffron first Boris. line. Mm. She has the cold dead eyes of a shark. Yeah, yeah. she is. Do you like your job, Carter? I said I was going to stop. But every line that she does is shit because she's just, she can't act. Oh, there's mm. a reason. I, they, they, she was meant to be the lead and then, mm. they, and then she was going to live at the end. And then there's like, nah, people hate her. Yeah. Let's make LL Cool J live at the end. Mm. They read shot stuff mm. to kill her and make mm. him live. Fucking love LL Cool J. <laughs> He's good in the bit with the, the shark attack and oh, uh, in the when it gets in the oven, yeah, yeah, and he he appreciates the irony, doesn't he? Mm. Chef killed in his own oven, right? <laughs> yeah. but then he kills the shark. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the whole shark swimming backwards thing. Sharks can't swim backwards. Shark- okay, how smart they are. <laughs> Sharks also aren't like forty fucking foot. <laughs> yeah, true. But the, and swim through little corridors that yeah, are like is three foot wide. Like, how did they know? Like. The blueprints. Yeah, I know. How do they get out oh, yeah. of the room that it they're in? It turns out that they figure out how to sink the Alcatraz of mm. thingy when, yeah, like you say. It's because they accidentally got smarter. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all you need to know. Do you think she gave them the blueprints and just like, this is what you, this is where you need to go yep. if it's an emergency? Yep. Well, they, <laughs> were, actually, they were in her office, weren't they? You know, yeah. when the plastic shark comes. Mm. I like the fake out with a yeah, plastic shark. Yeah, that was shark. quite good as well. But maybe one of the sharks got into the cabinet and looked at the blueprints. Yeah, How did it get in the cabinet? With one eye. Guest. <laughs> <laughs> She's not very good with security. I like to think that she was just doing like fire drills with them. Like this is this is this is the terrorist <laughs> yeah, yeah. threat. <laughs> don't run. Don't pick up your bags. Don't go back for friends. Don't use the elevators. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why they went down the stairwell with LL Cool J. It She's using be. the stairs. Originally, she did stop Carter, Carter. Um, killing the shark <laughs> after he bit off. Uh, Stella and Skarsgård's art. Mm. So maybe, she yeah, them. she did. <gasps> maybe she wants to make a human shark hybrid. Maybe she wants to fuck yeah. the shark. Mm. Like, that was meant to be one <laughs> of the sequels to the Jurassic. Instead of Jurassic World, we were going to get a Jurassic shark fucking. <laughs> it was going to be dinosaur hybrid human. Oh, fucking. apparently they're doing it. Apparently they're doing that. I don't next. want that. I don't want a human yeah. hybrid dinosaur. Do I you? I would want to see oh, that. Gosh, oh, because they started talking about the whole in that basically Mario Brothers the film. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's what the. Oh, I'm not ready for that again. <laughs> oh. As long as it's got Bob Hoskins in it. Yeah, he's dead. He's, yeah. The corpse of Bob. They could bring Bob. him back. They did Deep it with make him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it were two pack. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. What with that plasticine video, where he's just like, "What do you want to do?" No, the the, the hologram at Coachella. I, wish, I was filming you doing head bobbing. Have either you not side seen that bike. video? Like where he's just a plasticine two pack bobbing. Is it because oh, Jeremy yeah. had? Mm. It's called like two point five D, where it's actually a two D image. It's meant mm. to look three D, where they just you you do slight parallaxing. Is that That's what they had? With, it's um, is that a firework? Yeah, it's probably just a, a tram trying to break in. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Parallaxing, Steve. Is, um, I'm not very good at explaining things in very easy terms. So it's it's you take two angles of things. Are you patronising us? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm Man's insulting fine. my own ability. Are you to, gaslighting uh, us? <laughs> 
You're both dumb as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> if that gets me out of explaining parallaxing. Yeah. Is this when you're talking about 2D? Yeah. Oh, uh, the, the 3D, 2D, 2.5D. Parallaxing is a way to make 2D images look 3D. Right, Is okay. uh, probably the best way to... Is that what James Cameron's going to do for the new Avatar? No, he does... 3D. No, but in the on about doing... Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they all start snuffing it, don't they? So Scoggins goes down and does the whole oh, yeah, Jurassic they... Park scene with the button switching. Yeah. Gets munched. <laughs> then Saffron Burrows does a really stupid sa- sacrifice bit at the end where she cuts her hand... Well, I'm not missing out massive parts here, but that's basically it. Isn't yeah. it? Pretty, they all just pretty much. LL Cool there's, there's J gets dragged it. along. It's all, yeah. yeah, it's just set up and kills. Well, so LL Cool J kills the first shot with electric uh, blowing mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Saffron she Bullers electrocutes one, doesn't she? One. Susan. Yeah. yeah, sorry. And then the third one is blown up, and we're all meant to uh, replicate Jaws. One, two, and three. Ah, I was going to say there's a bit where they blow it up and I was like, oh, that's like... Yeah, so the last one is replicating the first Jaws and then the other two are replicating Jaws The electricity two one's Jaws 2, isn't it? Because it bites on a pole. <laughs> I've only seen Jaws 2 once. So oh, right. Remember. And Jaws 3 is the one where he's got a grenade in his mouth because so he swallows that guy and they pull the little thing out. Um, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen Jaws 3. Oh, the 3D one with Dennis Quaid. It's terrible. I love Dennis Quaid. I don't yeah, know why the film's not it. so good, though. Um, and then it ends, and we get deepest, bluest, my hat is like a shark. <laughs> I actually got the lyrics to um, to this song, and I wanted to just read some out to you because <laughs> I just thought, what the fuck is I he was talking about? To it. Oh, we're doing slam poetry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we can do. Oh, was it this Let's bit? all, after you read out some lyrics, just so mm. everyone's prepared. Let's all try doing a verse of what we think would work within Deepest Blue in my Right, head. okay then. So I'll give you an example of what uh, what he's putting in. Abandoned pirate ships, eels and sod scum. <laughs> Fish that glow in the dark, the Titanic's hub. Underwater storms, your blood is so warm, your life vest is off, and that turns me on. Killer for centuries, the gotti of the deep, in the next millennium... I'm still going to creep. Sand under my belly, ocean over my head. Through the light in the shadows, you become the living dead. Very nice. Why did, Why is he getting turned on? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't get that bit. And what's sod scum? I don't get what, how it's like flicking between him being human and yeah. being a shark. And I'm like, are you the shark in this rap? Like, yeah, is the shark getting turned on because yeah. someone's got the titties out? Yeah. <laughs> and he makes, I don't a, know. he makes a reference to Gotti after related yeah, to... John Paul Gotti or whatever um, it's called. Yeah, but that's related John to Paul you killed for centuries. <laughs> Gotti didn't kill for centuries. No, he didn't. It's probably like a decade or at most. It makes absolutely no sense it's a fucking mess of a rap song it's a cash grab but it's so long like i went through the lyrics and they're so long yeah but so, so that, give us, there's a lot of that just repeated give us the, yeah, the main the, verse the main uh the like, chorus the chorus that's it yeah. deepest bluest my hat is like a shark's fin okay. deepest bluest my hat is like a shark's fin <laughs> oh is that it deepest bluest yeah and but then no but there's like six verses I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, oh, uh, take it deeper. <laughs> like oh, is that wa- a bridge? These waters are waist level, the hallways flooded, lost your scuba gear, the killer's cold-blooded. His name's LL, you don't really want it. I ate your ancestors, the ocean is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> what is he on about? Do you think when he wrote that, it was like, High as fuck. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Or do you think he was like, all oh, right, you're going to give me a fucking two-dimensional character. I'll write you a dog <laughs> shit theme song. That was an internet generator wordsmith of a song. He just put in all the words that he thought mm. related to it. And then... Right, go on, then give us your verse. <laughs> do, do, uh, no. This was, this was your, was idea. your idea. yeah. I thought there was more to the chorus, so... But the verses are so nonsensical yeah. that it's hard to latch on to anything. To... It's hard to be that dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got one in um, your cat? You look like you've got one. I'm, I'm trying to think. Yeah. I'm trying to in- integrate in- integrate pubes into it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. No, I can't. We yes. don't have the skill level. No, of that. no, no that's really hard. Shall we go to what our opinions are on the film? Anyone got anything else that they want to say about 
Deep think, Blue Sea? Uh, from my opinion, you need to understand that I also didn't mention how bad the CGI is on a lot of the Yes. Shots. Yeah, the CGI is not good. The practical effects are. Mm. CGI is not so good. I thought I'd come into this recommending it because and even though I knew it was shit, it was like a good mm. bad boys to type mm. shit, which I can enjoy. But watching it back again, fuck no. Mm. Just that I'm... I know we go for spoiled milk or luxurious mm-hmm. cheese, but I'd like to add a fuck no. <laughs> uh, this is spoiled milk mm-hmm. as my decision. Cops cheese. <laughs> cops cheese. <laughs> Do you want to go next? Oh. I want to hear what cops cheese is exactly. It's like cheese made out of corpses. Oh. oh. Cop, <laughs> cops it's really milk. in the name, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to go next or shall I? I'll go next. Right, go on then. I agree with Hobo. Why you think it's spoiled milk? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty bad film, isn't it? It is. I wanted to like it mm. because it's sharks and I like sharks. Mm. And I like LL Cool J. Don't you have a Who shark doesn't? pencil case? I do. It's called Jerome. It's a hammerhead <laughs> shark. You've named your pencil case. Oh, is it in the shape of a shark? Yeah. Uh, thought it was a pencil case guy. with pictures of sharks. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's, in, it's the shape of a hammerhead shark and you yeah. open his little mouth up. And the zip's like white, like teeth, and the inside of it's red. So, like, you open it up, it's like. Is that what the J stands for in LL Cool J? Jerome? <laughs> no, it's oh. James. Ladies love Cool James. They do love Cool James. Oh, God. So, you're going for. Spot milk. As well. I'm going for luxurious cheese. Oh. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. Like, it is. It, it's rubbish. But, you know, I found it, like, really watchable. The other day, I, like, put it on. And it just flew by, really dead, simple premise. Set, it got into it really quickly, which I appreciated. And it just flew by, and I was just quite happy. I was like, the deaths are good. The practical effects are good. I liked LL Cool J. I like Thomas Jane. I don't know why he's not a bigger star. I like uh, Michael Rappaport. Hey fucking Jan um, <laughs> but yeah, I just thought it was like, it just zipped along, and I was like, that was... Pretty pleasant. I think the, the primary uh, key maker of my decision is we, I didn't have much time to watch this and normally Laura likes to watch it with mm. me but because of other films we need to watch I was like you can kind of not watch this one. Oh, yeah. It's not. Mm. I wouldn't I don't think you're missing out on anything yeah. by not watching it. It's no. cheesy. Mm. It's like if you miss out on watching Sharknado. No, come on. This isn't Sharknado. This is not Sharknado. No, this is slightly it's, better than Sharknado. No, it's a lot better than Sharknado. Think back to Sharknado. No, Sharknado is terrible. But yeah, I think the only that's... reason you, you might want to watch this is if other people are talking about it, which is the Sharknado effect. Mm, I don't know. Want, a lot I of think people only watch Sharknado mean, because other one. people were talking about it. I feel like this is more like a Halloween H20, not just because it's got LL Cool J in. Um, and LL Cool J as a character you think is going to die earlier but mm. survives mm. Halloween H2O and uh, he Dino makes City. a joke about dying early yeah, and that yeah. doesn't he and he survives very, I, thought, I think I remember when we did uh, that film Halloween that I thought this was his stick because I remember Deep Blue Sea mm. and then I looked it up and these were like the only two films he was in no. <laughs> <laughs> it was something it just didn't go anywhere well then, there you go. It's spoiled milk. I'm not too upset about that. That's fine. Deep blue sea. Yeah. Any other comments before we go? No. Deep blue. My heart is like a hat. Hat. Is yeah. Hat is like a shark. Sven. Hat is like a shark. Sven. Sven. <laughs> Why? I think he wears one of those. You know those little like, like little hats that look like a swim cap. So you wears say, those. I'm wearing a hat and I like look a like a shark. Yeah. That's not very mm. cool, is it? No. James. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, see you later. Total pip. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Spoilt Milk Movie Podcast, you pieces of fucking shit.